All right, welcome back to the show, everybody. Lee Anderson, uh, one of the few conservative members of parliament who is actually fighting uh, for the interest of our nation, uh, decided to go to Calais. Uh, he went to France yesterday uh, to check out uh, the, the migrant situation uh, and uh, the, 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 obviously the people smugglers and, of course, the leftist charity organizations uh, that are helping the illegal migrants who come over to the country. These are British charities, so-called charities, like Care for Calais, who are literally training uh, these people uh, and teaching them English and t telling them all the tricks to how to get over here and how to deal with the border force and the home office. Uh, he decided to go to Calais. We have a couple of uh, clips uh, from him uh, about this trip. Good morning, the Member of Parliament, Ashford and Eastwood, here in Cali, you can see the port behind me. I'm still furious, I'm foaming at the mouth over this Care for Cali organisation. They're acting like a magnet for these young men to set up camp here. They're basically feeding them, clothing them, they're teaching them how to, how to speak English, how to, how to read and write in English. Uh, and then waiting for them, once they cross the channel, they're waiting for them and volunteering hotels uh, to, to support them while they're there. This is absolutely scandalous. I think... Um, these are just as complicit in this trade as the, as the people traders and the cheek of it when we introduce new laws to to uh, send these people to Rwanda it's care for Cali that's challenging these, these decisions in court these are raising millions of pounds and they are part of the problem they're not the solution I'll report back later that's that's quite interesting because uh, as uh, Lee said uh, the fact that all the things that these uh, idiots are doing uh, they, they, they left this charity organizations like care for Calais uh, they are becoming as bad as the people smugglers uh, themselves. It's obviously not on a legal level, the same way in terms of the criminal liability, but in regards to uh, going against the, the interest of the people in this country, the people who are here in need of help with all the issues, housing problems, and of course when it comes to the economy and everything else, but this is happening. Uh, there's another clip that we have uh, of him going to uh, where the camps are based. Uh, they, they set up these tents, uh, with the thanks, with the help of uh, uh, the careful Calais and others, uh, be near the beaches in uh, France, uh, so that they're waiting, basically, for the people smugglers to put them on boats. So I'm um, uh, got back off the bus with uh, the uh, the place where some of the migrants are living. And I'm going to be honest; it's not very nice. I'll just turn around and show you. This is how they're living. But. Uh, Interesting, I've just been speaking to a young lady who works for Care for Cali again, who I'm, you know, I've been here only a short one, I'm not very impressed with them. And, uh, and I was talking about some of the situations back in the UK where, where people are being turfed out of hotels and, and, and events cancelled, and, and some of these migrants that's been here uh, uh, are using our um, accommodation, our hotels, etc. Uh, and basically I was told by the Care for Cali, uh, Brett, that um, you know, what about our colonisation of, of, of countries in, in Africa hundreds of years ago? Um, sort of, sort of blaming us. So I think at that stage she sort of lost the argument. You know, we're not guilty for the sins of our fathers. Um, that's history, and we can talk about that all day long. That's that's a much different debate. So that sort of it summarises the mentality, I think, of, of, of some of these the sort of charity workers here. Who, like I say, I think they're well intentioned, but. Uh, I don't think they're living in the real world. But this completely exposes the true face of those uh, leftists because uh, you can see from the narrative, as Lee Anderson was saying, uh, the representative from Careful Calais saying, well, you know, hundreds of years ago, um, the establishments in Britain, for example, or France, uh, colonized uh, certain countries in Africa and Asia. So what, do we have to be punished now for the sins of our fathers or whatever? It's, it's a bit weird because <laughs> it was anything that was done back then, even when it comes to colonization of countries or the world. Firstly, it wasn't like some sort of referendum. The British people, all of them said, yeah, yeah, let's all go together. It was British establishment. It was the government that did it. And they're all dead. No one's alive. It was different people. They happen to be, if you're, if you're watching this from space, you can see the planet. They happen to just be born on the land that we now call Britain. So just it's all about geography, it's all about location. Doesn't it's got nothing to do with us. Just just live with your live your own life, sort out your own problems. So it's simply about 
self guilt and western hate and it's just absolutely crazy and disgusting that these people uh, are using the illegal migrants as useful idiots uh, to bring down the system they completely want to bring down the western values that we have and everything the democratic institutions that we have <laughs> democratic institutions i mean what, what a joke right now the situation that we have in this country uh, the, even the political establishment can't really get anything done some are complacent and some are complicit in this matter so uh, we're going to be covering this uh, chaos on a regular basis as usual so the best thing you can do to support the channel is subscribe to the channel feel free to become a member of the channel to get more out of it on my 2c and we are the media